whatever we give you. And bless each and everyone who gives. I dedicate these machines in the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. May your hand be upon the machines in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. These are called um, the safe. Ah. <coughs> Praise the Lord. Your church is growing. You get documents. Yes, some documents are kept in banks and other places. But there are some other documents which we need to keep safe without anyone reading. Amen. Amen. Because we are stewards. We have to keep them safe. So any church which which is growing must have this. Praise the Lord. Amen. So on the, uh, this weekend, weekend no, no, this very week, weekend before Friday, I had, when I met these machines, I met a friend of mine. Actually, I talked to him last year. And I told him, to send to, 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 to at least make an order, at an least order, order, so that we get these machines to so the church. Amen. Amen. This, these are the machines. Yes. So these are the keys. Ah. This is where you invested your money. I request that we remove them. Uh, praise the Lord. Uh, in the house we have. Praise the Lord. Come on, favors. Praise the Lord. Uh -huh. In the house, Munyomba. we have the family of Mr. and Mr. Msenguzi. Do you know family of Mr. and Mrs. Then we call them Salong and Narong. Praise the Lord. They are with us. What I thank God for before I invite them to come is the healing hand of God in the house. Yeah, 
you know when you trust God, he can change your story. He can change the report of doctors. Sometimes we go, we get problems. And the medics tell us that things will be like this. And then you imagine I'm going to be like this. But when God intervenes, things change. Amen. Amen. So at this moment, I'm going to invite Salongo and the family. Salongo and Salongo and the family. We are going to get a song. To get a phone or yimba. And they are going to come. Era ba genda kujja. To balabe. And we are going to see. Please give them a song. Moba wodo yimba. Bisoboka. Bisika. Bisoboka. We are going to give an opportunity to Salongo first. This is Africa. The white lady is first part. Of this is Uganda. This is Uganda. <laughs> Men first. Men go. Yeah. Okay, come here. <laughs> Uh, I'm called Dennis Msinguzi. Is it Dennis Msinguzi? Uh, I really don't know what to say. I'm just overwhelmed and I'm so grateful. Uh, last year, I around around June, July. Na long got an accident. She got a multiple fracture in the femur, in the thigh. Some chak to come in around the satu three times here, here, and here. And on Wednesday was her, on Wednesday was her birthday. This recent Wednesday, Gigali Mazari was. And I was like, maybe we would not be attending this birthday. We would not be there. So today we are here for you. For our God. Thank God. And to thank our pastor. All the time. And to thank our pastor. And to pray for us even in the hospital. We are just overwhelming. Very, very grateful. When Narong got an accident, just one day after when she is admitted, this gentleman who doesn't want to sit, pneumonia ne mukuba na agenda mukoma. I mean na agenda mu ICU. So the mother was in Mulago, six B. The baby was in Kampala Hospital. Because she was pending an operation. Major, major surgery. Just imagine what it was at that time. 
my boy was in the ICU. Do you know Dr. Calling you and makes you sin against your own child? That you commit yourself if he dies. Mm -hmm. Yeah, ethically it is the procedure. But you know what it means to a parent. So it, was, it was really very, very challenging. But uh, uh, my brother has not reached. He would wake up. He would wake up at three. It is only me and my, 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 my own person that would go in ICU because the was a baby. So whenever we are, we are Yazuka like this, you must see someone he knows on the face. So my brother would wake up Agamba, ah, to Jakuona. Jakuona. He gets up, prays at Yavanga Jar Nazuka again and I see you now Musabila. And I would see things change. Every Every night, I would pay three million. Every night, on a baby. But fortunately, good enough. God brought him out. Fortunately, now we go on. She can even play soccer now. So today, I'm here to thank God. Thank our pastor. Thank you so much for praying Thank you for us. having us at your mind all the time. Thank you so much. Thank you for having us and praying for us. Above all, Sima Katonda, even now we are standing for him. There is a very big man who is in senior four. Yeah, that school has not been able to come and do it. Those two are the twins. They follow her. And this one follows this one. That one follows the other one. There is a very big man who is in school now. We can't make it here. This one is the elder sister of Nalongo. This one is a woman of God. Morocco, I said, I know now wrong. I've been with them. I'm sorry, sir. They are very close friends. I tell you, your prayer will be away. They pray together. I want to thank all of us for today. Pastor, thank you so much. When it was for her birthday, birthday we are too sick. I was like. We are not yet fine. To cover for some school fees, send it to the city hall. We don't have money. But. The cake to Sunday. Let's cut the cake on Sunday. Then, to know me, me, I gift. give even if he's my friend, I give him what I love. When I pick something, then I love it so much. Give it to you. So I told her, we can get something we love. She was like, maybe you can get us a cow. Because she knows I love cows. <laughs> I said, but home is far. Getting a cow from the other side at this short time is not simple. We have a very strict quarantine. Ah, I have some cows here in Nakasong, but I can get a cow. So yesterday when I was coming with the cow, she was also waiting because she didn't know how the cow looks like. Because it was from somewhere else, not home. I left some cows home. I was one time a DPC in so I, I used to graze there and I left some cows there. So Katwanda Nanyamba yesterday and Msumba, with all my heart and my family, we are just so grateful. Amen. Please so, so show us the cow. That is the cow. Mr. Yeah. I'm just, I'm just so, so grateful. Thank you so much. Please clap for me. Wow. Glory be to God. Yes, in my culture. In my culture. 
I'm sorry, but I'm talking about my culture. You know, Africans, we have cultures. Yes. Yes. I hope I'm not offending anyone. No, no, no. My culture. And is, I don't know, it's part of us. I can even sit and tell you it is, it is, it is happy, it is, it is this. Just because I can speak its language. So in my culture, a cow is, is a bazungu to kubiyanye fanany. We take photos a lot. A photo for remembrance. But in my culture, a cow is bondage. So I wanted to bond with my God and my pastor. Amen. And to bless, because I love it, so I will get more, more, more cows. Amen. I don't have money, I give what I have. So I'm so grateful, Pastor. Thank you so much. Thank you for your following. I want to thank Paul. Paul of Sayavera and Kuberanga and Buzza, how is Nalongo? How are you? How are you doing? Where is Paul? Paul, thank you so much for Paul, yeah. you. So thank much. You for thank you so much. Praise God. Praise God. Praise God. God is good. Yeah. Whose report shall I believe? Amen. Amen. So. Uh, I'll not repeat what he has said, but I'm really, I'm really grateful to God that he has been there. Yes. So when you trust God, you, not, you don't doubt at all. And he will surely come through. Because like he, how he has narrated, it was worse than that. But if you look at the... If you look at the, the fracture I have internally, you would really know that even at the scene of the accident, God was there. Amen. Yes, I don't know how the pastor will explain it, but you can be going through danger, but God is there, and then he lets it happen, but again it saves you through. Yes, because that day, I, when, when I recall how the day started, me, at office, you no, know, when I'm going to office, if it's 100%, I would say 5%, I can wear trousers. No, it's not I rarely wear trousers. So, so that day, because that morning I see that God planned that day I woke up Let me wear those long trousers today. And a long shirt So long long shirt. Shirt. I spent Without wearing yes. such attire Then of course I, I, I parked the car because I was late I was a report to make a report. Report your accident. Your mommy a fatal accident. I was making mami a report for a, a gentleman who died of a car yes, accident. Yes, mommy, mukulu mu government. So na ino ko. a big gentleman in the government. So yes. I was making a report. Now imagine how I also get involved in that. But ati nange ne ati nange ne kuna kabenge. But the good part about <laughs> mine <laughs> is that <laughs> God still had a lot of plans for me. Katunda yali achi ne teka teka ni geri obulambuangu. So. I dressed that way. I don't have a sweater to work all my life. But that day after parking my car, I went to buy a shop and I saw I a sweater. And I said it's too cold or early. Yes, so I buy a sweater, it had a wood. And it had some fur. Yes, so when I got an accident, I went to buy a sweater and I saw a sweater. Three minutes from where I had parked my car, I went to buy a sweater and I saw a sweater. I went to buy a sweater and I saw a sweater and I saw a sweater. How you cut a sugar cane? Several times. Mm. So, I also knocked my head. But because God was part of it, because of the hood, it protected my forehead. So, I that something dangerous or bad can happen to you. But still, God is always there. 
So, whatever fractured you know, na when you look at the fracture that if I it got, wasn't for God, I any sensitive organs. If I got it, I would not survive. So, up to that level, I still say it was God. <laughs> So when I took a scan, X-ray, and, and, and the CT scans, and the scans Agamba, eh, they said I was well. Actually, na na so my case was no longer well, considered an emergency. My case. heart was in good shape. My head was untampered with. All my organs were intact. So doctor all doctors remember me because I was crying on top of my voice. Never gamba, but you're very lucky. But you're all intact. When you'd look at me, I had not even a single cut on my body. So, Pastor, I just told you that I'm not going to be But I thank God that His hand is not short. It was in my hospital, in my son's hospital. So the plans are standing. It is our call. So the devil's Amen. plans never work. So through all that time. What Tanatkulembeza is to trust God. What I prioritize I would read Exodus 14 14. Yes, and that kept me. Leave the war to God. Generally, you relax. Because there's nothing to relax. No man, we are in God. There's nothing. So I left everything to God. And I want to thank God that I'm here today. So now I'm ready back wow. in the office. Glory to God. Glory to God. Two weeks ago. Glory to God. Two weeks ago. And I'm sure boss wange joked and said, Annette, don't have them holiday. Annette, have you been on, haven't you been on holiday? Yes, like you know. I don't look like I was so You women, you can tell me. I don't look like I've been here. 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 Even when you're going through the hardest time, because of humans, worry and anxiety, even a minute of your life, cannot add on to you. So it's always better to commit everything to God. Yes, and God cannot um, let you down, especially when you trust no one else, not even the doctors. Operation Yang, Almost nine hours. Operation yangu yali yes, yetu alisa wa muenda namba. Yes, and yes, I had a lot of fever. I had all the best doctors in Mlago. Basa wa basi ngo bulunjwa na Mlago baaliwo. Yes, so I want to really thank God that He was at the forefront. Even of my family, my child recovered. God paid all those bills. We didn't even take a loan. Yet at the time of the accident, we didn't have any money, even a million in savings. So God pulled us through and he has seen us through up to now. If you don't know that I will be sick, you can even know it. So I want to appreciate our pastor. He came and prayed for us. He came and prayed for us. My family was there for us. My wife was there for me. 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 My local pastor. Musumba wangu. Ali local. Ono ya kula gua kusiva na kusaba. He kept fast. He kept praying and fasting. Yes, my sisters. My sister wangu. My children. Na baba na bachele wangu bimbera na bwe waka. And the ladies who keep us at home. We thank God. To waza nyoka tonda. And shuwa di chenga. Chenga simba yonga anjogera. In a conclusion. Faith moves mountains. Chuo boeda na kukiriza insozo sobolo kuzidi kusenda wenzozo. Hallelujah. 
gracious Father in heaven, receive our thanksgiving. You have everything. You do great things for your people. We can't pay you back. But receive this offering of thanksgiving. Thank you, Lord. For the gift of life. Thank you, Lord. For the protection. Thank you for honoring your word. Because you said, when we pass through fire, do not burn us. Indeed, when I saw what I saw in the hospital, and what I'm viewing now. They are two different things. This one shows your glory. Lord, thank you. Lord, we stand here to vow to you that we shall be, you will be our God and we shall be your people. We shall not serve any other God apart from you. You are the only God in heavens and on earth. Thank you, Lord. We love you, God. We love you, our Father. Thank you for being faithful to your word. Again, Lord, I dedicate this family, the entire family before you. I stand under the priestly anointing to bless this family in the name of Jesus Christ. And to close the doors, doors of accidents, never to happen on this family, never to happen in the name of Jesus. Whatever happened on you will never happen again. I close the door forever. Devil, I bind you in the name of Jesus Christ. My Father in heaven, let your glory be manifested. I cover this family with your favor, with your blessings, with your blood. Let this family operate under the wings of God in the name of Jesus Christ. And again, Lord, I pray for your servant there. Multiply him. Lift him, Lord. Because of this seed, let him go to another level. Without his knowledge, let the anointing upon my life lift him high in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Holy Spirit. We give you praise and honor. In Jesus' name. Amen. We thank the Lord for everything. Praise the Lord. I'd like to thank the Lord who healed Pastor Chibombo. By evening, as checking on him, he said, Even tomorrow I'll be able to pray. I am well. Pastor Chumba, we thank the Lord for your healing. And we pray that he continues to nurse you. I also want to thank God for the spirit of a family spirit in this ministry. Amen. Amen. We've been praying and we are still praying. Mama wa Maria Ruvanga the mom to Maria Luvanga. And I want to thank the people that represented us last Sunday. You went there. I thank you so much. And on that very note, I want to thank the 
people in London. They sent a seed. They sent it. Uh, I want to give it to Maria. It is for passion fruit. For the sisters and brothers from United Kingdom. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Thank you so much, brothers and sisters, for caring. May God richly bless you. Yes. Uh, next month, we are going to witness the wedding. <laughs> Mr. and Mrs. in Sereko. I want them to come in front. Mm. This is Mr. and Sereko. And Mrs. in Sereko. Uh, I've been with this family for so long. But in the family, no kumalaka sera kawavu. Uh, and I thank God for, for their lives. They are good children. Amen. Miss Anseroko will tell you the um, place of work and also the wife will tell us and where they stay. You see, was a Uganda. I'm Seroko Robert. I'm Seroko Robert. Online church, I use Muzay in Circle Bob. I use Muzay in Circle Bob on online church. We live along Mitiana Road in Bulaga. I work with that consortium company. I work with that consortium company. I work as a compliance and finance officer. And I, uh, I am based in Karamoja. I'm very happy to see you today. Praise God, church. Praise God so much. I'm Prim Nachiranda. I'm also um, in the military. I'm a procurement officer. I'm a procurement officer. I'm a defense facility shop. Defense forces shop. In the defense forces shop. A bombo. In Bombo. I thank God for, for this place. Amen. Praise the Lord. We thank the Lord that this anointing has been lifting us. It has been working in our lives. Prim was in the army with no rank but because of the anointing and the word, the prophetic word the Lord has been lifting her up to that level of lieutenant Amen. Amen. and she's still going higher with a lot of favor no from the bosses. Amen. Amen. Now, um, on the 27th of April, at midday, there will be standing here exchanging vows. and they will be exchanging their vows. Amen. Amen. That will be their wedding. Amen. Amen. Um, Mr. Robert Nsereko. Omwami Robert Nsereko. Azaliwa omgenzi James Nsereko. A son to the late James Nsereko. Ni mama Nachito Robert. And Mrs. Huh? Nachito. But the, uh, Rebecca. That one is all Robert. Mm, no, Mrs. But. Nachito Rebecca. Rebecca. I tell you, um, Prim. Margaret Nachiranda. Pre Margaret Nachiranda. Azali wa uh, Brigadier Mwanje Sechiranda. To Brigadier Mwanje Sechiranda. Uh, uh, Brigadier Mwanje Sechiranda. 
and the late Nakamia Daphne. No mugenzi Nakamia Daphne of Machindi. Abe Machindi. Machindi. Yes, much India. Praise the Lord. So all these people will be here on that day. Uh, Brigadier will be here. Yeah, I've ever been with him. We met, and he's my friend. Praise the Lord. If there's anyone with a genuine reason. Robert that of stops Prim. Robert from marrying Prim. According to the laws of Uganda. Please um, declare it now. If not, you forever hold your peace. And allow us uh, to, to lead them into the exchange of vows. This is the first wedding ban. We will still make the bans even in the coming days. We want a reason like this that I've ever had an introduction with Robert or Robert has ever been introduced uh, by me. So I cannot allow them to be together if there's no reason as such. May the Lord bless you. Uh, Robert, Robert. These people on Sunday. We are going to come and we will bless you. We did it last Sunday. And some of the people that pledged. They said, I will give in this, I will give in that. There are families that brought forth money. And we started to um, serve that money and bring it together. My family pledged one million. And we started um, paying on our pledge. Person, I thought that I would get a contact person whom will be giving this money to. But we are going to get two people. Uh, Magina Nsubuga Magina Nsubuga will be one of them. Ne, no mwalo, mwala, and Rachel. another Rachel, Rachel, another name for Rachel. Fiona. And Fiona those two people will be able to um, keep that money after we have a good amount then we will hand over that money to you you will use it in any way that you want to use because it some of the these wedding. people may not have time to be in your meetings so that money will push you I believe everything will be fine I believe you have the word from God may God bless you Amen. Amen. That is also done. Today. We have a delivering service and it's the reason as to why we are going to have one service in the morning. I want to take you through uh, the reason as to why rush to be an uh, not all Balokole churches believe in deliverance. So many people don't believe. I think it is because of ignorance. We have to teach people. Amen. We have Amen. to teach people. Yes, you can be saved. But when you are in bondage. I'm going to talk about bondage. And captivity. I want you people to notice the difference between bondage and captivity. Amen. 
Amen. Amen. And no. Era mumanye. Why? Rachi. A born again. Omolokore. Can move under bondage. Asobolok tambri la wansi wobusibe. Praise the Lord. Amen. Let me first explain this. Can so kemba nyonyore chino. A bondage. Obusibe. Is a state of being a slave. Yembera eyokube romudu. It is a state Yembera of being a slave. Unga omuntu mudu. You may not be a slave. But if you are in the state of being a slave, it is very difficult. And a slave is, is being someone's legal property and forced to obey them. A slave a slave Omudu. is being someone's legal property. In those days, Munakwezo, where there was a slavery and, and someone goes in the market of slaves, pays his money, then and then they call no you first, and you come home. You work for that person. No kolero muntu oyo. Amen. Amen. Till you die. Paka wofa. No payment. Ngate wali kusasura. You are like an animal. Oringe nsoro. Praise the Lord. Amen. So as a, 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 a slave. Kati omudu. Is a state of being bound. Yembera nga orimu sibe or subjected to some external power or control. Amen. Amen. A certain power. Amen. This power controls you. Praise the Lord. Amen. Say for instance, you're there and you're bound, you're tied up, you're in chains. But this person has control over you, but you're bound. Amen. Amen. A state of uh, a slavery still it is a state of being under the control of another person. Amen. Amen. spiritual force. Or someone you see. But that person you are Amen. Amen. To uh, stay still, Okumbudu. to be in bondage, Okubera Mubusibe. means disabled, Chitegezanti. paralyzed, incapable, tosobola. immobile. Tosobola kuva Amen. Amen. Still, to be uh, in bondage, Okubera Mubusibe. Is to be enslaved physically and spiritually in all spheres of life is the inability to fulfill one's dreams and visions of life. Praise the Lord. Brothers and sisters, there are many people Again, but they are in such a state. They can't fulfill their dreams. Yet they are born again. They wait for their dreams come to pass till they die without seeing their promise, the promises of God. And so many uh, backslide and leave God. Because they begin to see God as someone who is not faithful. But the fact is, it is because they are in bondage. But we have, I have good news. From the Old Testament, God hates slavery. You remember 
Before even Jesus came, God thought about his people. They were in slavery in Egypt and said, I will send a redeemer. I will send Moses to break that slavery. I want my people to come out from bondage. I want them to, to, be, to live a free life. This is what happened in the Old Testament. God came down, delivered his children in the same way you can be a child of God. But in bondage, a slave of someone, you can fulfill your dreams. You are a child of God. You sing about the blood, but you can fulfill your dreams. I'm here to tell you that our God, our God, can set you free and give you a new a, a new song Amen. Amen now let me first talk briefly about captivity they look similar but they are not the same uh, captivity it is a condition of being imprisoned or confined. It is a situation in which a person or an animal is kept somewhere and not allowed to live. With slavery, you're bound with chains on your legs or anywhere. They command you to do what you don't want. But captivity. You are not supposed to live beyond to, to, to move beyond your gate. They, they may even tell they may even keep you at your home and they tell you to kill you. You are not a slave. But you have limited space. There is a confinement on your life. They look the same. But the other issue of slavery you were bought but the issue of slavery for it, you are taken as a captive. Someone can bewitch you and then they confine you in one place. You're not bound. You are not a slave. No one bought you. But you are confined somewhere. You are on that level. You are educated but you're there. You don't progress. There are some demons which keep you on that level. You, can't, you are not allowed to go until you get an external power which can help you to break the bondage, to break the walls. That is when you can move out and run out because you are not a slave. You don't have chains on your legs. Amen. So captivity is a situation in which a person or an animal is kept somewhere and not allowed to live. Praise the Lord. Amen. A person or an animal whose abilities is to move freely is limited by keeping them somewhere like in a prison. Do you get the difference? So, captivity, buba buwambe. Buno buwambe. Bondage, buba busibe. Bondage, you're tied up. Herano omusibe, abaya wambi wa. And even a prisoner is uh, taken captive. Neaba, kenjigere. They have chains. Aba mudu. A slave is a... Aba kolida oye ya mugula. They are working for the one who bought them. Kachitegeza. So it means... Nti captivity omuntu, buwabanga te... te if people don't come quickly and, and save someone from captivity, they may become a slave. Do you get the difference? Now, today, in the, in the afternoon, 
we are going to come back here and trust God to break the captivity upon our lives and the bondage. For us in this ministry, I can look at you and understand. Some people are not slaves. Are not in bondage. But they are in captivity. You look at that person. He was able to study. He can get sugar and food. He can go, he can teach his children at a certain level. That is captivity. When I look at you and understand I know what to do. Many people when they come in counseling they are experiencing bad situations but I tell them that there is no curse on you. But pastor, if there's no curse upon my life, then why are these things happening? Because those things are happening. Kubanga, you are a captive. If you're taken as a captive, I know what to do. I can get armies from heaven. Come down. Pick you from that captivity. And then we take you out. Most people are like that. But they are other people. Like out of captivity. You don't know whom they call a slave. Their hands are tied up. Their legs are tied up. When they are walking, their chains are on their legs, they take steps. Because of what? Because of the chains. Amen. Amen. When they get to where they are going to work from, the master the one who bought them says carry this log even if they can't handle it. So the devil is going to be able to get a lot of people when he bought your family from your ancestor even slaves give birth but if a slave gives birth to children the, the, the master the master has benefited when those children grow up they also become slaves they start being like their dad if he gives birth to like six children it's like you've had one cow and it gives birth to eight calves more milk. So even the one who bought you says now, Master, today you may rest, let your sons go to the garden. They even give them a house. So a time comes and they are like, you sit, sit and let the children work. This is what I mean. You can be bound. And your children can also be bound. And even the next generation can be bound. I'm talking about bondage. The devil can enslave the whole family. Until you trust the Holy Spirit. To set you free. Now the Bible says, and it was a prophet Isaiah who gave this prophecy and he said that on that day the burden will follow from his shoulders. These slaves carry burdens. They are beasts of burdens. Amen. Amen. They carry big Logs. But the prophet said that on that day the burden will follow from his shoulders because of the anointing. When the anointing comes, it 
breaks and destroy the yoke, the chains, and the slaves becomes free. A slave can run away if there is no chains. You begin to make big steps. A big step. Maybe to the anything of the but when the chains are broken, two million, ten million, million thirty million. million but the Holy Spirit can do that. Whenever we come to church, we believe God for. The, the Holy Spirit to set us free. There are so many Christians who are still in captivity. They are bound. They are bound, but they don't know. They are waiting. But things will never come forth. Why? They don't teach them. They are not taught. The Bible says, My people perish. And here you get it. Who God. says, Katonda. My people perish because of lack of knowledge. You get knowledge from people who know. We get knowledge from books. You can't tell God, oh, God, give me knowledge. God will never give you knowledge. God gives you wisdom. But you get knowledge from people who know. We get knowledge from schools. Now I'm giving you knowledge that even if you go to America, when you are still bound, a slave can be put on the plane. Now where Uganda, and they move from Uganda, again Washington DC, and they go to Washington DC. When they come out of the plane, the chains are still on their legs. You can't run. You can't make big steps because you are bound. Chino chamber. This is what I'm saying. Leave Uganda when the chains have been broken. When you go to Canada, you'll make big steps. But some people think that changing a nation, changing a job, can bring a change in your life. You are deceiving yourself. If you are still bound, even if you work with the President Museven in the State House, Whatever the money he gives you, that okay, no, the devil says. contract the contract expires. And you have not even built a house. Praise the Lord. But if someone has been delivered, the chains have been broken. The person is free. Even if they have a small plot of land. They can build a storied house in that plot of land. Our God is not a respectable person. He's not a respectable person. Whether you were black or a white, a Gentile, a Jew, we are all the same before our God. Yes, we are the same. So where is the problem? The bondage. When the devil is binding the person, he first binds your mind. If someone's mind is bound, even if you give them 10 billion, they may keep it, keep it and use it slowly. They use it until when they finish it even without building a house. So many people are bound in their minds. When their minds are bound, they are confined in one place. You can't get new ideas. Amen. No new ideas. You can't see good deals. You are in one place. You begin to fear people. Ah, that person will never add anything on me. Because I'm not bound. 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 Because I'm
Your mind can be bound. This person. The reason why we take children to school. So that they can have a free mind. Hmm? That the, the, the child or an adult. The people around them can bring a bondage. Without anyone bewitching you. Your mind can be in one place. That is why we tell you get your money and take your child to school and give them a free school so that they can play with all the other pupils and students and they can talk to this one and the other. We have a mixed school. That is very good. Are confident. A child grows up when they are confident. They can speak to this one and the other. But you see some children. They are only in Buganda. They've never started with a child from the north or the south or the west. Even when they get a job, they have a problem because they started only from Buganda. They cannot speak with other people. That is also a kind of bondage. But who put them in that bondage? You yourself, the parent. Send your child to speak to all, also other people. Let them be free to talk to the Muslims, the Catholics, the Baganda, the Bachiga, all of them. Let them be able to interact with all people. Because when you grow up, you, not, you may not be in Uganda. What will you do when you go to London? You never interacted with the whites. If you have an opportunity, you send your child to interact with all people. Amen. Amen. It is good if you are in the village. That is why you know get the child from the village and take them to a town setting and let them meet the different tribes, the different people so that it helps them. I want you to look and see the children that have been interacting with the different people. Do you see? They have a good life. They don't have a problem. Even if a man is trying to court them and they want to marry them, if the man is a and the girl is a musoga, they, they, they have a, a, a good. But as a child grew up from Busoga and they, in one place. they cannot allow a person from another tribe to marry them. They look at other people as though they cannot do it. Even if they give them a job, they feel they won't even pay them well. That is also a kind of bondage. Amen. You meet a church led by a Muganda. And all the church members are Baganda. That is also a bondage. But we go to church because God has planted me there. That is where I will meet my God. That is where my blessing is. Praise the Lord. Amen. Again, the Olababa and to Aba Aba Funyo Muksoku interacting and Aba and to Aba Lala. Go and see people have gotten an opportunity to interact with different people. Balina marriages and nunji. They are in good marriages. Balina emiri mu emiri nunji. They have good jobs. Amani talina limiti onna. They don't have any limit upon their lives. Tabe la limited by tribe. Teba fugiwa our tribe. 
Amen. Amen. Tabe the limited by Oba Gwanga. Tiba kumezeka Gwanga. Umuntu habaso miya sobro funu muri mwe Nairobi. If someone is educated, they can get a job. You in Nairobi. work with Kikuyus. No kola na ba Kikuyus. Happily. Gwa tori musanyo. Because there is no limit. Gwanga tewari komo. There is no bondage. Gwanga tewari usibe. So the people you live with can put you in bondage. If you're not careful, the people can affect your mind. So you have to be very careful. Praise the Lord. Amen. Make a choice. This world is a world of choices. Make a choice. If you want to be well, make a good choice. You know you, you, which school will you take your children to? You have to only, only Muslims, only Muslims. Why? If that child grows up and they are getting a job, they get a job only with Muslims. These days I've been observing on TV that even Muslim TV. schools we consider even other religions. And I said, wow, that is great. <laughs> that is great. But before that, other traditional schools used to say, if you are not a Catholic, you are not allowed in our school. And we force you to become a Catholic even if you are not. That is bondage. Amen. Amen. If a child has come to receive education, 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 give them the education. Give them freedom of worship. Muslims allow them to be Catholics. Them to be Catholics. Them to be Catholics. Praise the Lord. Amen. So bondage starts with the mind. Even poverty. No one if someone's slavery and mind, poverty starts in the mind. mind you if your mind is bound, that business will grow. Even if you tell someone your business is a agamba nedda. When will it grow? Ah, ah. Use this little money. In slowly by slowly. It will grow. This capital will grow. That is why some people cannot even save. Because poverty, they are, they are in captivity of poverty. People are captives. Government never was sent as a budget a pitch. Parish development model. You hear that they've gone to marry women. <laughs> they give them mosquito nets. They use it even the mosquito nets for fishing. Malaria go to run say to kwaka tiba kenzili eh we give you the mosquito net yes abamba bzimba akasisi na akateke bwerwa some build a hut and then they put the mosquito net on the outside na gama geza ko kalo yingire wa ne sibe they enter here obusibe the bondage omu no mugamba mire dagara you tell someone solo medicine na gama ye doctor njadimira say yes doctor o solo the medicine bova una lika sukeri then after they throw it away anze me. I cannot die. That bondage is among the poor. They don't believe in hospitals. They walk by faith. But they walk by faith. They don't want to go to hospitals. Yeah? <laughs> they walk by faith. But you don't know which way God is going to use to heal you. Praise the Lord. Amen. God can pass through hospitals. He's the one who gave them wisdom to make that medicine. But people don't want to go to hospitals. Why? We are born again. Why? 
Why don't you go to the hospital? People don't want to take children to school. Like there are, there are some religions who used to say, we can't educate a girl. I can't educate a girl. When I educate a girl, again, they used to, to get give married their children 15 years. They used to give their children in marriage at 15 years. That was bondage in their mind. How do you break the captivity of the mind through teaching? The Bible says, continue in my word. You will know the truth and the truth will set you free. When you get the truth, you are free. That's why you have to make a choice. Amen. Amen. Why do born again do a beautiful thing? It's part things? of deliverance. Ever since you started coming to this church, when you see a pastor putting on a nice suit, you begin, the, the lock begins to break. When you see a flower here, you admire it. Then the captivity is broken. And then you say, Nange ni no a flower in my house. And like I should also have a flower when you see things, you admire them. We are not trying to do these but things we are own. breaking the captivity. Put a basket there. Thank you, sister. God God bless bless you. You. Praise the Lord. Amen. Do you get me? Montegera. Do you get me? Montegera. Sengan zijiram rags. If I come, I can still, I can still preach and you understand it is not the suit which preach, preaches you get the message through my mouth but I have to package the message well for the glory of God praise the Lord why? why do we buy all these things why do we do beautiful things it is part of deliverance. Why do we encourage our members to put on well like her? She is wearing a beautiful yellow. There's someone who will see her hey. and say, So and so dresses like that. They have a beautiful suit. Hey. This man has This man is wearing his hat. He has eh? lines in his hair. You see, other guys out there will say, ah, If Samba put on a tie. Do you know what happens? People out there admire us. And they begin to do what we do. When they see, they glorify our God. They glorify our God. I want to encourage you. Come in the afternoon. We believe, I believe the Holy Spirit is going to help us. Again, He's going to help us. Even you people who are online. The anointing doesn't need an air ticket. The anointing will get to you in Canada and deliver you. Amen. Amen. We shall be delivered. Your children shall be delivered. Your church will be delivered. Why do you think we tell you to have hair pieces? You like Even though he interprets the young men who are going to dress like this. We are the same age, but it's not your age. Our dress well also. Hey, hey, hey. Praise the Lord. Amen. But someone comes to church and your mind is bound. I am preaching to you. I am preaching to you. 
I'll not go back with these funny trousers to church. <laughs> there are young men of my age who dress well and decently. Why do you bring children who graduated here? There is a mind we want to get to and impact the people at school. People at school study. There's someone who told me, Pastor. Every day I see those people at church, those girls at church, and I didn't even know that they go to school. I was so touched. I've been seeing the roses, and I didn't know that they were in school. The other one was very touched. They saw them dressed in gowns. The message started. I think I also have to educate my children. If these ones have studied, I should also study. There are so many young people that need to go to school. But they don't go to school because the people they are in don't go to school. But when you come to church, and you see these nice things, the cladding, you see this, you see these, the flowers. I think I have to put a flower in my, in my bedroom or in my living room. You know, take it to my living room, yangi. Whatever you see here delivers you. It changes your mind. Why do we teach people? We teach them because bondage begins from the mind. If your mind is not yet free, even if you get millions of money, you will never get anything in life. Why? Do we testify? Because we are targeting people's minds. We are ministering to people's minds. Telling them, you can still make it. You can make it. Yes, you can make it. Your mind is so important. What keeps people in bondage? putting aside the things that we see and the things that we hear a sorcerer can bind you mm. remotely you know sorcerers use many things they can use point of contact just they can just cut a small piece from your cloth as a point of contact like they may see where you gave us a testimony on Friday. You remember, they told, they, they told him that that museum is not easy. And they refused to uh, give you a, play, a, a, a part to, to, to put a road. Then they would tell them, pass through my compound. But passing through the compound, he was also wise. And like, I think this person wants to pick the dust from my uh, legs. This person would pass on the grass. He was afraid. But one day, he said, Let me confirm. Then he walked. The dust, then he saw. As he was following him. Said, Let me go for. Stamping, uh, and then he stamped uh, someone uh, and he made sure that it is visible when he got there he made a turn and he came back and Musei was picking the dust putting in a polythene said, you stole my money you cheated me and now you want to bewitch me <laughs> and Musei took off and went into the house <laughs> Praise the Lord. People can pick dust. That's why whenever you get a new thing, a new house, a new car, bring it for dedication. We dedicate it. We give it to God. Anything given to God is protected by God. Anything given to a demon is protected by a demon. You see when we are chasing demons, you hear demons talking. This is ours. This one was given it to us. It means that that person was dedicated to demons. 
A person can bind you when they are bewitching you. A point of contact. Maybe they are using a point of contact. Point of contact. They love using point like of contact. Okugeza. Pictures. People's voices. Names. Amanya. I remember one day when the church was still young there was a signpost up there. Then I got a vision. An old man came and he took a photo. Then I saw on a vision he was on the seashores standing he had a small photo he spoke words and then he threw it in the water and then it, it, it moved away then the voice told me it was Naringamba begin to fight they've bewitched your church I went into fasting and I prayed. I thank God I was able to defeat the witchcraft. After a very short time, the people were staying at church here told me. We usually see someone who comes and parks there in a pickup. And they stay there for a very for well, like an hour. Muganda. We know them, they are uh, witch doctors. And I tell them that I know that person. And I went on my knees. They did not pack there again. Sometimes you ask yourself, you know, I have my photos in the album, but they disappear slowly. Some visitors come, some steal them because they love them. Some steal them because they want to use them again. And people have photos in albums. They seal them. You don't remove them. Why don't you ask it from me and I give it to you? If not, at least take a photo. Get a recent one. Why do you want that one? Some people are bad. That's why, even in this generation, if you are to give something, or like money, to people you don't trust, use a mobile money. Even your neighbor, you sell things, same items, you have many customers, that person can feel bad and go to the sorcerer and say, but this one is telling my customers, don't worry, you just get money from his hands, direct from his hands. Auntie, I'm going change. Auntie, give me some change. Give me 50 50. It's money 5,000. 5, when they give you, they remove 5,000 and then they take it to um, the sorcerer. Before you know it, you are not selling anything. <laughs> but thank God for the power of prayer. There is power in the blood of Jesus. There is power in the blood of Jesus. What do you have to do then? There's a man who had a hardware in Gaza. Uh, I, all the people, when I left my uh, workers in, came. and bought things but the money that had um, blood and when I went there and I prayed and I told the safe in which they put the money that I put the fire of gold all the money they will put in with witchcraft the witchcraft will be burnt someone can use anything to bewitch you. So, whenever you come before God, the Bible says for this very reason, the Son of God was manifested to destroy the works of the devil. That's why you have to pray every day. You can't stop them. Let them do what they want. But Jesus was manifested to destroy the works of the devil. 
Because there are some people who do such things when we are not aware. So don't put on the spirit of fear. Do what you're supposed to do every day. Wash your family. family Wash your business in the blood of Jesus. There is power in the blood of Jesus. These people, the sorcerers, use the blood, the blood of animals, to offer to demons, to offer to their gods. But we, we don't need those that blood because God gave us the blood of His dear Son. Let the blood of Jesus fight the blood of animals. Let the blood of Jesus fight the blood of sorcerers. Praise the Lord. There is power. In the blood. Whenever you are you are attacked, call either the name of Jesus because at the mention of that name, all demons bow. Call the name or call the blood of Jesus. The Bible says they overcame him by the blood of the Lamb. But the blood of the Lamb, there is power in the blood. There is power in the blood. Don't leave your house without calling the blood. I wash my car with the blood of Jesus. I cover my house with the blood of Jesus. My children them in the blood of Jesus. When you are sleeping and a sorcerer does something, the demons will come. When they see the blood, they cannot park there. It happened in the Bible. In the days of Moses, God told Moses, Tell them to ask for the but a come shy to get Sizabwe when the angel of death came blue a sango musaya gaba all there's no parking no parking no parking ah like that the blood saved them. But we thank God for our day. God provided a lamb. That is Jesus Christ. When you cover your home. With the blood of Jesus. When sickness comes. Problems come. When they see the blood. They continue. When they see the blood. They continue. Cover your office with the blood. Cover yourself with the blood every day you need to use the blood of Jesus in order to be free because sorcerers are not seated all the time they are driven by jealousy when they see something good in your family they want to destroy it because the devil came to kill to steal and to destroy but thank God for Jesus he came that you may have life and have it in abundance. You'll have money in abundance. You'll have cows, in many, many cows, everything in abundance. In the name of Jesus, don't worry. The blood of Jesus is greater than the demons of Tanzania. You know, in East Africa, people fear. Fear witchcraft from Tanzania. Tanzania. But I've been the, in deliverance for more than 20 years. Deliverance okumala, I've seen the power abili. of God. Breaking spirits. Chasing demons. Mizimu, and it will continue. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Amen. You have to be free. The Bible says when the sun sets you free, you become free indeed. Captivity. Captivity. And bondage. It is a lot <coughs> among the born again. You see people, they have everything. But then you're like, why is this failing? You may find people they checked me. I have the ability to give birth. But why? 
There's something that has stopped the children from coming into your womb. Only the power of God has the answer for that. But what I learned with, with godly things, until you believe them, they will never work for you. That's why we need to teach. Now, there are people who come in churches and they see people falling like jumping like popcorns. Like, what kind of power is that? Now, the man is seated, he is standing here and then a person flies ah, and then they kick. Now, Papa, what is that? We call that demonstration of God's power. Amen. Some demons may get off a person. The demons can go, but then they return. Why? Because they have not been taught. Demons can get off of you. One day, I just, I think there were demons, hired demons, because I had a voice say so. They were talking. And then when I overpowered them, they said, Okay, let us live here and let, let us wait for them there. And then they said, will you be with them at home? I said, I will not be there, but at least I've chased you. But they were lying to me. The devil can lie. <laughs> the, those demons never came back. They never possessed her again. They never possessed her again. I'm here to tell you there's power in prayer. So when you see those demons that get off of people, why is it that some return? Because those people have never committed themselves to God. How do you commit yourself to God? In times we say, Ah, we sing, I surrender all. Not some, but all. Some people can say, I'm born again. But they've never surrendered certain things. You surrender the foot and the hands are still being used by the devil. You surrender the body, but the mind is still in the world. If you are like that, demons will run and come back. Some people have never fully committed themselves. Today they are in church. Tomorrow in the shrine. Why did you go to the shrine? You know, Papa, you know Jesus did not come to remove the you things know, my, of the world. My dad told me that my we should go there. Because, you know, Papa, that shrine belongs to our judge. Papa, There's no problem. Then you look at the dark. Praise the Lord. Amen. You are not yet serious with your life. The devil came to kill your life. Your life. Even your spirit. spirit The devil wants your spirit to go into the fire. We are here. But this is not our final destination. God has to take you further ahead. The anointing can break and destroy the earth. I want you to ask a few questions. Because I thought that I have to, uh, to share before we reach that session. And maybe some people may some people are not even believing in it. I know so many. You can be bound in, with poverty until when you die. Problems. You can be there. You be poor. And you go to heaven like Lazarus. Lazarus who died and was lifted by angels. Mm. 
And then he went to heaven. How many want to be like Lazarus? No one has raised their hand. So if you don't want to be like Lazarus, allow the bondage, uh, the, the anointing to break the bondage. You can live with wealth and still go to heaven. If you have wealth, you will serve God properly. You will not grumble. And even your children will go to school because you have money to take them to school. But if you say that, ah, ah, when I go to heaven, I will meet my money there. Okay. Now we also thank God for you. You can be there. But when Jesus said, you get to heaven, you get the money. We you name it what, let your will be done in heaven. And Jesus and said, you will receive a hundredfold here. And if a hundredfold there, you have to receive your hand hundredfold before you die. I want to see my heaven on earth before I see um, uh, heaven up there. The blessing which God is going to give you is going to give you a, at least a manifestation of the heavens you are aspiring for. Praise the Lord. Amen. I know that you're going to go to heaven. But I want to go to first make heaven on earth. It's just that you people don't travel. Ask those people who live in Abu Dhabi. Those people Abu Dhabi. who live in Dubai. The first day I went to Dubai. I said. I went to Dubai. I said. I said. God gave these men their heaven. They don't complain. Arabs. You, have, you created your heavens here. And then I came back to the bone again and I said, What is it to believe in Katonda? Why don't we believe God? And we also make heaven on earth. Just like the Arabs have done it. And you come out of the um, no heaven on earth. Earth. And you go to heaven. But it comes from your perception. Today I'm going to pray for you. I pray that God will bless you. That you'll get into your um, earthly heaven. That is your a hundredfold on earth. But even those Arabs, history says that they haven't even made 60 years when they've done that. They've not been like that. The first time they showed me the old buildings in Dubai. And I said, this is where they were. I saw buildings that I saw in Nakasaji. And I said, but how, how did it happen? These people would give them money and give them exposure. When you get money, you can go anywhere in America. If you're someone who learns and you admire things and you learn and you have money, you can see something and you admire it and you do it at your home. But if you're bound, you cannot. So the Marias who have lived in Sweden, they lived in London and in Paris, they travel to Paris and everywhere. She has been able to make a palace in Entebbe. <laughs> if she was bound, even if you see those things, I saw Maria's house and in Intina I praise God. I sold it. When she told me, I said, This woman has killed us. The things were beautiful. But when I went to Entebbe, I said, 
descended the can see Praise the Lord. Amen. Katonda wa Maria. The God of Maria. Katonda. Can be your God. Katonda. Can be your God. Mr. Nsubuga. Katonda wa Sobrokuba Katonda wa Tina. Your God can be Tina's God. Katonda wa Sarah. As Sarah's God. Asobrokuba Katonda wa Tina. Can be Tina's God. A God who built for Sarah a story house can also build it for you. It's not a respectable person. That's also the Mubantu. It comes from your perception. There's Ugandans are everywhere. They're in Nigeria. They're in Ghana. South Africa. They're in South Africa. They are in Europe. Different countries in Europe. Ugandans are all over. Uganda, but you won't. They get lots of money, but when they come back to 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 Uganda, walk home to Uganda. Ola be nyumba jazimbi. You see the house they've built. Ngafunye sent mawanga. After getting money from those nations, they so well are describing anti yariyoko. Cannot even describe that they've ever lived there. Bondage. You can't move. You can't do anything. When you see something, the devil deletes it. You forget. When you see something, you begin to fear. How can I do it? I don't have that money. Yet it's not you, but the grace of God. The grace of God. <laughs> not you, but God is grace. Praise the Lord. Amen. I want to give two, three people to us. Then we shall conclude. Uh, when I conclude, uh, I will ask, uh, where is your husband? Madina. Madina. Banencha, they are flying out of this country. Banencha, ba vamugwanga dino, bagenda kulinya. But I know that you're going to see a blessing where you're going. When I took a makaga mu Abu Dhabi, when I got to your home in Abu Dhabi, I knew that you people were blessed. Umuntu ngo yingi na mukali na apartment Abu Dhabi. If someone has an apartment in Abu Dhabi, they have bathrooms and a sitting room. You like this one? They have these things when they're here. It's like they're living in Uganda. The same blessing is going to follow you where you are going. You're not a slave. You're not bound. You just need a blessing. The God who has been with you is going to continue being with you. You need to first come. Tomorrow they are boarding, they are going to Europe. Because they need you remember their testimony? You remember? You know, God is going to work for you to not worry. visa. They were from Abu Dhabi. They visa. They got a Schengen visa. They, they are able to travel to 27 countries in Europe. They can settle in any of their choice. That's what they got. Praise the Lord. Amen. But that lady is a lady of faith. Because when I stood in their home, they said, we want to travel, and they said, I've given it to you. The pastor gave it to us. We have to go. And they started processing their documents. The three of them were given. And tomorrow they are leaving Africa. They are going to start a journey. Amen. Amen. That is different. That uh, is different. Richard, energy. Richard, mm -hmm. come and come here. Richard ask Jung. your question. Come here and ask. Obusibe. 
no obuwambe oluganda lwabukana obuwambe kama ebasibe kanisa no busibe yangwa captivity and bondage are in captivity or you are in bondage kama ebasibe church amen amanya azika ganda richard that is his name kati muzayi my question is ma obusibe bondage mbuyingira munti ya how do i get it to Am I born as a captive or I get it into the second question? I may have a choice and aspiration, but I'm born again. What do you think? Ebiroto byange oba ebiruwiwa byange Oh my goals Nenga naba sibituka ko ngandi mulokole Even if I'm born again Kati manya anti anti ebiro byange tebinna tuuka How do I know that my seasons are not Oba cha ulantya mu biro byange Oh how do I No busibe okumanya anti obandi mu ebiro tebinna tuuka mukama tanna tusa ku nkolere ebyo How do I know that God has not yet It's not yet time for God to work to answer uh, that. Praise the Lord. If you're bound, leave, put aside all these things of seasons, even the dreams you'll never see. If you were bought, you were in someone's home. You had a dream of getting a, a, a bachelor's. You were in, you were in people and your father was was taken as captive with his family. Now you, be, you begin to work as slaves. You can you think that you can even achieve a bachelor's degree? You no longer go to school. You are not studying. So, which means Chitegeza. you are not able to Tito get so a degree. Na degree. But brother so what the brother is asking, biroto. you people have dreams. Biroto as long as you're bound to the dreams, you will never achieve that Even the seasons come and the season bypass you because you're in prison. If they put you in prison and they tell you we are going to put you in prison for 50 years and you're 15 years at that time can you tell me that you can get married? Will you get married while in prison? We have to first break down the prison walls and you come out and then your dreams will start to manifest. So he has asked how do I get into bondage? Some bondages were entered into by our parents and were born into them. For us, we are children. And then you find yourself, you're also bound. So you have to look for someone to deliver you. If you fail to get them, you still remain a Bondage. So that is what the born against do. For them, they say, if I become born again, everything is going to work Nesi themselves wechiri. out. But that is not how it is. Jesus spoke to Lazarus. He said, Lazarus, come forth. Lazarus came. Do you know what Jesus told the disciples? The Peter. Peter. Not me, but you. Untie him. Untie him. You have the power to untie. Me, I've resurrected them. For me, I've caused them now, to accept you salvation. Break the we have the power to break the chain through teaching and demonstration of God's power. We first teach and then demonstrate. That's why people like Pastor Tom Mugerwa he teaches after teaching then demonstrates. It is very easy to, to, to bring a pastor here now demonstrating and he demonstrates and you all get slain. Demons can be shaken and go. But if what bound you to them they as come back. 
uprooted jiko mao. So we have to teach you not only godly things but even things of daily life. So if someone doesn't know how will they develop We'll teach you how to teach save. Teach your children how to save money. This pig bank, give you a pig bank now. When I give you 50, what a tithe, what a kebbit is it take a Get to thousand and save it. At the end of the year, I'll buy you a bicycle from this bank. Teach them. There are some people who have not been taught why they should come early. Why they should be early. Why they should come to their house early. Even if you don't have a job, wake up early and come out of your house. The moment you wake up, you need to open your windows so that there is fresh air. Number two, you've woken up in the morning before 7 a.m. Don't make your bed. You need to first open it. Who has understood? Open your bed to aerate it. Open the windows widely. Amen. Come out. Run around. Brush your teeth. What do you have to eat in the morning? Not yams. Sima yoni. Ah, Papa, I had my yams here. Yeah. I have to eat my yams. You know, before I slept, I prayed for these yams. I have to eat them them in the morning. morning. Don't start with yams. You start with what, Dr. Katumba? Dr. Katumba. Preferably warm water in the morning. Uh-huh. Then. And uh, then if you have a fruit around, it's better you start with a fruit. Uh-huh. Praise the Lord. Why? Because in the morning, when we are eating in the morning, it is a breakfast. We are breaking the fast. When you are asleep, it's like you've been fasting. So you have to break the fast with warm water and a fruit. Then when you take a fruit, take five minutes as you do other things. Don't fast eat and eat and eat. And. <laughs> oh, pack it up, pick up. Oh, what? Papa, pray for me. Papa, the demon entered here. And it, is, it is moving around. That is not a demon. You are not taught well. Early in the morning. Someone can be in bondage all their years. Someone can be in bondage all their years. Pastor, my children are not looking healthy. You give them leftovers in the morning. Then they they have no butter when they was in bed. Then they 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 get a brown hair. Then you bring them to church, Papa. I want to know about it. Pastor, you see how I'm feeding my children. They have money now. They Kati look like these rich people. Nga, nga, these these rich no. people. And this, because of what you're feeding them. We have to teach everything. The way people brush their teeth. Some people brush their teeth, but they don't brush their tongues. You have to clean your tongue. After you brush your teeth, clean also your tongue. Wake up. Open your bed. Open your windows. Go out and walk around. As you do other things. Then come back. When your, your place has been aerated, then lay your bed and cover it. Uh, close the windows ah. because you're going to work. You come back when your house is fresh. 
The people who say the neighbors here are uh, um, gossiping. I don't even want them to see what is in my sitting room. They will steal my mats. Praise the Lord. Amen. I got my mats and, and, and baskets from Kabubu. Praise the Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. So we need to teach people. Teach people how to make friends. How to keep friends. You don't know how to keep friends. You people, you are here. You don't make friends. When we give your responsibility to be an usher, instead of using that position to make friends, you create enemies. Make Friends. When you get a friend, keep that friendship through communication. We are very busy, but at least, hello. Good night. Good morning. That is enough to keep your friendship. For me, I know they love me. Five months. I know they know me. <laughs> Every day we meet new people. But if you want to remain in the same position, you are you. keep yourself there. And the Baganda say, a friendship with no one who stops slow does not last. If you don't stoop low for someone, you have to stoop low for friendship. Hello, doctor. How are you? How are you? Them. How are you? How are you? How are you? Doctor, you have a lot of people. So, doctor, you meet so many people. Where you are in the hospital. And in your hospital, you meet so many people. And we meet nice people. And you find that the person you met in 2020, you're very good, but you're very good. And it becomes a bondage. There are other people who don't want to learn new things. You 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 don't want to learn new things. The same way used to farm is the same way you're still farming. The man goes to conferences and eats different kinds of food. For you don't want to learn new things. The same way you used to cook before is the same way you're still cooking now. The same way you used to cook when you were in Nangabo. You got married in Machin and now you're still cooking as though you're in Nangabo. There's a girl I love, Muchiga. She has a program called Tufumbe. Who knows that girl? Doreen Nasasira. Who knows Doreen Nasasira? Anyamani Doreen. You know her? Mm. Mumu following. Do you follow her? Doreen Nasasira. She was on Spark the other time. But all the time she wants she to learn. That is what I love about her. Dish Every dish. Agama. Tufule. Amakaga. Fetuga. Fule. Ajifula. A restaurant. Yeah? A what? Five star hotel. She wants us to cook like the chefs who cook in those five-star hotels. Praise the Lord. Amen. Yesterday I was viewing her. She traveled and went to Mulungu, Mulungu there in Gaba. And met a certain lady. For her, she um, smokes the, smokes the fish. And then she, she asked her, why isn't it getting burnt? You know, the spices and everything. Good. She's also has something she instills among her followers. They learn new things every day. So she learned and I so saw her learning. Yet every day she's always been sharing what she learned. What if you also learn how to smoke the fish and your husband comes back and he finds when you've smoked the fish and he passes, you know, when he returns the, the cup of Bushera. <laughs> Amen. Amen. Some of you it is bondage. And you lose your home and your marriage. 
Because you're not creative. This flower, your husband won't take it. Learn it and place, put it in place. Teach your children to pray. Teach them. Sit with them. When they come back, say sorry, you say sorry. It is your people to teach your children those things. Learn to dress. Learn to dress well. In this world, God did not create any ugly person. You know beauty comes because you care for yourself. If you don't know how to dress well. There are people who know about styling. Hire them and let them do it for you. You wear makeup and you don't know how to put it. Go to the salon and allow an expert um, do your makeup. All your makeup is flowing on your face. People will tell you what looks good on you and what doesn't. He went and now he's seeing other women. You are the flower. You are not a flower. You are no, you are no longer a flower. Kale, you were a flower. Oh, Kale, you were a flower. you were a flower, but you were with that flower. Na yo, you were with that flower. Why don't you tune yourself? Rush the way to Reza. We have people in the city. They can dress you up. Like my missus. This is good on your body. Amen. Amen. I think you people are no longer on things like, you know, I also have to be light skinned like no. You don't need to lighten yourself. <laughs> <laughs> Don't you dare lighten yourself, your skin. Be in your color. Where you got to appreciate yourself. Love yourself where see me. They will teach you. I'll tell you what I know. What I know is what I tell you. Hey. Ask. They've been, they've, you've been invited, Booza. We are going to the beach. Okay, na beach. Dress code. Yeah, uh, to teach you. I know when the spirit tells me to go to the Gomez and Kakondo, I will just come. You will remove your shoes when we go there. You can't, you can't go to the beach in high knees. How will you step in the sand? Because you're very argumentative. When they invite you somewhere, you need to first ask what is the dress code? How are we going to put on? How are we going to put on? How do you want me to dress? Some people buy, buy their new sandals. They want to go with them to the wedding. Because they want Someone is wearing it. <laughs> but you are laughing. That is the community we are living in. We have to teach people decently. Yes. Uh -huh. Decently. Church after church. Against out with your friends. Put on your your shorts. But you are very smart. In your shorts. In your shorts. But don't bring the shorts in church. Even certain things the sisters wear. Jeggings, leggings. You see people coming in deliverance.
Because they praised you that no you are smart. You think that you'll even come in church in your jeggings and leggings. You think we don't have them. This is church. We leave them there. This is church. Someone is selling his coffee. We are going to meet my mother. They also have them. But we are going to meet my mother. I've already told my mother that you are my best friend. That you are putting on jeggings, leggings. You should not put on like that when you are in church. Leggings. Jeggings. Mulegings and jeggings to chigeza. But on parties, neko pate oriwa dembe. Parties, your friend. Obo baga bonna oriwa dembe. It depends which party. Chesi nzira kabaga chi. Amen. Amen. Walone nevi nevi tu nevi mu biyo noko okubedanga oyi girizibo. Even some things you have to be told. You are putting on white here. Oyamba tebi eruano. This is gold. This is silver. No silver, no gold. And here you want to be like an Asian, you are putting on something. <laughs> Don't. Praise the Lord. Amen. We need such lessons. We need such lessons. Uh, one day, we shall get time to teach all this. How should someone lay their bed? You know you would wear, lay your bed. You fold your bed sheet and the blanket and then you... When someone is tired and they are going to sleep. <laughs> they have to unfold. And then they lay the bed again. Oh, 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 oh. Even ogenda makaga bantu ne curtains. Even go to people's homes. Even the curtains. Party ya curtain yandi ba debwe runga teyiri mo. The part that should have been uh, facing the outside is facing inside. No sango muntu ne suke yandi ba de eno ateyiri awa. You find someone the bed sheet that will be on top is laid um. On no sango anga the coat yemo yandi genze mo office. The coat that would have been to office. Oba suit yon e party. Oba suit a party suit. Party wear ati ya akole ram. They 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 uh, work in their party wear. Ogenze kusaba muri mu. You've gone to apply for a job. Oge command ogenze mu jeans. Ah, uh, you've gone for an interview, but you're wearing jeans. Someone will tell you yeah, this. But they you. told you that. Have you seen my papers? No, oh, I've seen your papers. Your papers. Your papers. Na ye, but the way you're dressing doesn't you're serious. does not show that you're serious. You've come to apply for a Yambala job. Burunji. Dress well. Suit your Wear your suit well if you're a woman. Dress your. Wear your dress. Look someone in the eyes. You get a no Speak to them. You've come to apply for a job. You want to be a receptionist. What is your name? Where do you stand? Over here. Over here. I'll tell you we'll get back to you. I'll tell you we'll get back to you. I'll tell you we'll get back to you. I want to end here. Thank you so much for listening. Uh, we need teaching in all areas. The Holy Spirit is there and the anointing is here. But we lack knowledge. Cooking. Traveling. We will talk about those things another time. You are chewing. We gaya gaya. Is this a human being or a goat? No, Montu oba oba ambuzi. Did we not chewing? When should you chew? And 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 where? Did we not chewing? When should you chew? And where should you chew from? You are talking are you with a respectable person. No, Moto, which tea? 
Stand still. Humidity up, Tengere. If not, Boba, according to the culture, you, can kneel. you may not kneel, but still, you show respect. The voice you use, the kind of words you use, there are people who have favor. How? They cannot speak Mr. Mrs. with anyone. Dr. Professor. Professor. Praise the Lord. Amen. Only that can bring you favor and someone listens to you the more. But because you grew up with Mr. Katumba. Yes, Katumba, how are you? <laughs> Katumba, they told me you have job opportunities. Katumba, you're already grown up. You see that familiarity. Praise the Lord. Amen. If someone has grown up and married and studied that honor and respect, you have to use it. It is what causes them to be full because they worked for it. Familiarity among the born again, they call everyone sister. They call you the very name they call you in the village. When we come to Kampala, stay with those names. Dennis, that is enough. Call me Dennis, the Chochimala. Unless you put uh, the, the, the title so and so. on them to be Mami Gundi Mrs. Gundi. So and so. Muchala Gundi ne Gundi. Like that. that is how you will get favor from people. Okay. Amen. That is it. Okay. Uh, let me invite Mr. and Mrs. With the brother as the. They are heading for Europe tomorrow. <coughs> you need to go with the hand of God. Please kneel down here. Will you say that God did not send you food? Please go and make money. Those who have gone ahead of you just went ahead but of I'm you. going to bless you. Uh, Psalms 30. 37 verse 5. Psalms 37 verse 5. Mm. Commit your way to the Lord. Trust also in him and he shall bring it to pass. Again. Commit your way to the Lord. Trust also in him and he shall bring it to pass. Praise the Lord. Amen. I'm going to commit your way to the Lord. Lord. Trust in him. We are Africans. We are still building our destiny. You've gone to work. And then you'll come back and invest in your nation. Trust the Lord. God will give you money. Silver and gold belongs to God. Trust the Lord. Trust his word. Always be online. Fellowship. When you get money, never leave God. Because that money cannot be kept by your power. It is only God who can keep it. You can't keep it. Therefore, I commit your way to the Lord in the name of Jesus Christ. I send you forth. Go under the anointing and the hand of God. The Lord will give you wisdom to make money. May God protect you, keep you together. May God keep you together in one accord. And then you see a blessing. The blessing that I've prayed for you is going to come quickly. 
But never say that it is your wisdom. If you ever forsake the Lord, whatever you would have gotten is where you will stop. If you stay with the Lord, you will get whatever you will need. May the hand of God go ahead of you, level all the mountains, fill all the valleys, and cause you to succeed. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. I bless you. I bless you. I bless you. May God bless you. Travel well. We thank the Lord. May God protect you. Send greetings to the whites. Send greetings to the whites. Okay. Now, I've been preaching and the Holy Spirit was telling me there's someone who has a headache. I can't allow that person to go home. In such a state. I don't know where they are seated. Please come and I pray for you. Come and I lay hands on you. And then he dreamt a strange person. He started shouting. And then that vision disappeared. Who is that? You shouted in a dream. But in that dream or in reality, you saw a strange face. And you shouted. I want to see you because I have to deal with that that thing. Where is that person? You are the one? Okay, you stand behind this people. Don't join them. But just be there alone. And there is one person here. This calm, it is going to, it is it is now one and a half months looking for a job. But we walk in there. Wherever you go, there is no job. Don't allow anyone to join the line if I've already called them and they didn't come. Is it one month and a half ago? Wanji? 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 What? Siuli da Wanji. Si yo kera Uganda. No, you just speak in language. Go yo kera Uganda. Nyo ni mbazorto. No problem. Bakam bakam bienga hamulemo. Bango bakumulemo. Hmm. Mwenzin kagumu na na weekend. Mwenzin gumu na weekend. You stand here. You made it a one. And there is another person. Oh, today is Sunday. I think it was Tuesday night. You saw a beast in the dream. A beast in the dream. But since that day, you fear your bedroom. I want to see you. It was Tuesday. Do you remember counseling was on Wednesday? But you even failed to come to church. I want to see that person. A beast. It was Tuesday night. Please come and join us and I pray for you. 
better known one word. There's another person. Your landlord. Landlord You know he wants to um, turn against you. I don't know in what way. You are worried. They haven't told you a word. But here the rumors. But before you come, one of your friends is passing behind you. He wants that house where you stay. He wants that house where you stay. I pray that God reveals to you because that so-called friend is a snake. Is a human being, but is a snake. Can I get that person? Can I see them? I'm going to pray for you that God will reveal. I pray that God sends a person to the landlord to speak the truth in the life of that person so that you can keep your house. I don't know if it's commercial or it is a residential. The most important thing is knowing the person who betrays you so that you don't deal with them. Again. Lastly, around this place, there's someone here. A person is sometimes they get a challenge with their sight. They get like um, they get like a mist and, and they cannot see well. I want to see that person. Wait for these ones to leave. That's the role of the ushers. Fasela to go back. Then to college And then we'll do something next. Doctor Katumba. Doctor Katumba. Do you have friends from Europe who wants to join you? Europe project you. I have friends in Europe, but none that I'm aware of that has interested in the project. I have some friends in Europe, mm. but no, no, no one has ever expressed interest, interest of partnering with me in project. project. Okay, just let me know if there is Take anyone. Is when, when, when someone or among their friends shows interest, just tell me. I'll, I'll let you know. Exactly. Amen. Amen. Okay, uh, here, Wano. God is going to promote someone. Among the people seated here. I know we are all living in the season of promotion. But the person among these people is going to be promoted highly. I don't know. It will shock us. I don't know if God is going to do it to um, strengthen us or to encourage us. All of us can go to another level. From S2 to S3. To S3. From S3 to S3. But someone can, that someone is in second unusual. Is in S6, so it's going to happen on among the people seated here. Because of but what I confirm, 
these people. You're going to hear that person's <laughs> testimony. We'll take long when we are talking about it. And we'll be referring to their God, to be our God. Amen. Amen. Um, Another thing. Maria, you are going back to Europe, right? Maria, you're dying. Oh, you're still Europe. here. Oh, what are you? Around April. Okay, but Naye. I'm seeing a good job. Well paying job. God loves you. Naye. But now that I've seen it, let me give it to you. I put it in your hands. No one will tamper with that job. I put it in your hands. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Maria, Maria, there's still a lot of things for you to do. The buildings that you have to construct, there are many. God is telling you that expand your territories. The power of God is going to move with you greatly and cause you to do such things. What some men can't do, God has given you ability to do it. Not because of anything, but because God has been examining your heart. Receive the Twala. grace. Um, Receive the grace. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Bano. Receive your healing, my brother. In the name of Jesus. Receive your healing, my sister. In the name of Jesus. What is your name? Feed. Feed. You are born again? Are you born again? I'm seeing, I'm seeing something. I don't know. Sometimes you experience what woman to a quarter movie. Is this someone who touches you here? Do you ever feel like someone is touching you in your head? Okay. Keep on coming. Please. There is a demon which we need to arrest. In order for you to see your dreams. In the name of Jesus, I bind whatever affects your eyes and your head. Receive your healing and be free from today. In Jesus' name. Can I tell you something? God has given you a house. Go and thank your God. One day, you will tell us that you built a house. I'm happy for you. Can I Father, I want to thank you for the power of healing. You said that we shall lay hands on the sick and the sick shall recover. Receive your healing. In Jesus' name. In the name of Jesus. I bind the spirit. 
behind your headache. I release healing. Divine healing. Divine healing. In the name of Jesus. Receive your healing. Amen. Receive your healing. In Jesus' name. Amen. Mm, my brother, there is an evil person from your clan who is targeting you. targeting. And they, they are targeting you. But today. I put a hedge of fire around you. And I hide you under God's feathers. No evil come near you. May the great God establish you. Keep you safe. I scatter all your enemies. I confuse all the enemies from your clan. In the name of Jesus. Go and be well. In Jesus name. Amen. Put your hands here. It is the will of God that you may have a job and a good job. But there is a spirit from your family which has been looking for you. Stopping you from working. When you are working, instead of doing good things, you do mistakes. I bind that spirit in the name of Jesus. I pray for the, for the new job. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Look at me, my sister. God is going to give you capital. You are going to employ yourself. Father, help Mm -hmm. Okay, 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 okay. Um, ngoba, ngoba mi ejita galo setoling. There's a, there's a curse, a vagabond curse. Wa rich kodi meche mombose. On your life, I break it. Unchimeni amenya. And I cast all demons. Iranga kasuka emizimu ngoba emizimu. Cast them away from you. Njikobo kuva kubla mowo. Father, I pray that you help her to retain the place. Help her, Lord, fight on her side. In the name of Jesus, I pray that you reveal the enemies. Reveal them, Lord, in the name of Jesus. Amen. Bring your hands. You may the Stand there. Face me. To know it. I command you, the demon of the spirit of your paternal auntie to leave you. You are not supposed to live that life. To ina kuvera mabola mo. The aunt lived. Nga senga ubu yabera mo. I cancel. Nsazamu. The plans of that demon. Plan is on ezo muzimogo. Because we are saved. Kubanga feturi balokore. So, devil go. In the name of Jesus Christ. I destroy you. I destroy you. Leave this lady. If there is any witchcraft that accompanies your captivity, I break it. In Jesus' name. And that thing that is in your stomach, I command it to come forth and catch fire in the name of Jesus. May God deliver you completely. Amen. The beast. Okay, I cover you. I hide your life. 
under the blood of Jesus. May God bless you. Keep you under my covenant. And cause you to receive what you need. Without struggling. In Jesus name. Amen. Amen. I command the thing that comes upon your eyes to live. I command that it is happening. That is holding your I command it to cut fire. I command it to be destroyed. I command everything that has been affecting you. Loose. What kind of animal is that? And the last one is a snake. Those three images represent demons. I set you free. In the name of Jesus. Come back in the evening.
Yes, praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. I announce your promotion. In Jesus' name. The whole of this month, I will be announcing it every Sunday. Sunday. Because this is a season of promotion and reward. People are going to be promoted by the grace of God. Amen. Amen. You know this anointing qualifies even the unqualified. Don't worry, you are going to see things happening without your power. God is going to fight for you. Break walls. I know God is going to amaze you from this very month of March up to December. Testimonies of promotion are going to be on this pulpit. People who are abroad get ready. Something new is coming. Something new has started. Amen. Amen. And we are going to give our offerings. Bring things. Uh, when, uh, Bring the baskets, but you know God gave us spiritual eyes and spiritual ears. You can see. You can hear. Something in the spirit. Now. Leave this with me. Let me chase it. In my territory, I've sensed an evil spirit. Monitoring spirit. Following someone. I arrest you. Monitoring spirit. I arrest you. Leave that person. You are not supposed to be here. This is a holy ground. Place of light, not place of darkness. Pack all your things and go. And remember, I have authority over you. I have authority over you. Pack and go. I release the fire upon that person. There is a person here. Your things are delaying, your things are dying, your things. <laughs> but you don't know. Today I'm letting you know that there is an invisible person who has been doing that. And I rebuke that person. Stop! The works of God must be manifested. Demons, leave now. Leave that person. Leave that person. Leave that person. That person has to testify. That person has to testify. So leave and go. 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 I have power over you. 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 Please first bring them here. I have power over you. I have power over you. I have power over you. In the name of Jesus, I crush you. I crush you. Live the life of this young girl. Who told you to follow them? Oh, there is a step, ma'am. Who went to the shrine and assigned these demons? Okay, I have power over you. I bind you in the name of Jesus. Leave this young girl. Die from the root. What's the name of this girl? Your sister. Oh. 
she drank the things they put in her stomach Okay. I think her father loved her so much. And then there was a woman who wanted to separate her from her father. So they told this demon confuse her, stop her from going to school, waste her life and her brains and her father will hit her. But from today, I have cancelled everything by the blood of Jesus. Clap your hands and glorify God. Glorify God. Glorify God. Get your offering. Please forgive me. I had never seen it. Seen it. it. But when I saw it, I decided to chase it. So that a friend can also testify. I put favor, wisdom, protection, provision on this young man. As you go to school, let God himself teach you. Make you wiser. Always be a head and a head of everyone. In Jesus' name. Please get your offering. You people sitting there, you're the ones who are going to give in first. I pray to God that He will bless you. You're going to get money that you didn't know about. But when you get the money, come to the saint. Begin. This week is going to get money. A lot of it. He's going to pay all his bills. Amen. Amen. The people here, please come. The people here.